Okay, as you can see in today's video, I'm just going to go over a quick introduction to the metric system. And in the following videos, we'll do some dimensional analysis, some unit conversion, and some calculations with the metric system. But this is just a short introduction. I looked online, I think I got some Wikipedia. This is what the Wikipedia said was the base units for the metric system. It said the base metric, base units for the, uh, for meter was for the length, seconds was for time, and kilogram was for mass. And then it actually said one of the other base units was the ampere for electromagnetism, like for current. And I think there was one interesting thing that was missing off of this list, which of course everybody includes as one of the base units, which is the liter, which would be for volume. So I just stuck it in there like that. That was the liter. Most people would, I think, would consider uh, the meter, the kilogram, and the liter, the base units for the metric system. And then there were some, they said there were some supplementary base units like Kelvin for temperature, candela for irradiance and uh, the mole for the quantity of a substance. Okay, so those are some of the base units that get used in the metric system. There's also a whole bunch, of course, I think they said there were 22 derived units. Okay, so this is how the metric system works. The metric system is based on 10, so we either get 10 times bigger or 10 times smaller. And we're gonna go bigger first, so we're gonna go as 10, uh, 10 is 10, and the abbreviation for 10 is deca, as in decade, because there's 10 years in a decade, and there's something else with DECA, but there's DECA and the abbreviation is DA. All right, and of course we have 100. We don't, this doesn't get used that often, I think, in the metric system, and in science it's the it's hecto is 100, and of course the most one of the most common ones is for 1,000 is kilo, like in kilogram or kiloliter or kilometer or kilometer. And the abbreviations for K, you often don't just see the K by itself because it's usually KG for kilogram or KM or you know KL for kiloliter, but the abbreviation for a kilo is K. Then we have a million is mega, it's a capital M, like uh, you know megawatts or uh, gigawatts, okay? Uh, and then the last one for a trillion, million, billion, and trillion, and a trillion is tera, and you might think of that especially giga and tera with your computer and your hard drive, your hard drive have a certain size of gigabytes or terabytes. And of course it goes on and on higher than, um, larger than those, uh, than trillion, uh, uh, but uh, I think those are the most common ones. You can look online if you want to see the other ones. Okay, then we get 10 times smaller than one, one being kind of our base uh, unit here, and we have a tenth, and tenth is deci, okay, like, I kind of just think of a decimal, but deci, okay? And then a hundredth is very common, like centi, like centi means a hundred, like there's a hundred cents uh, in a dollar. Um, uh, and there's a hundred, is a, it's one hundred, the centi. Then we get to a thousand, is also a very common one centi and milli are commonly used. Milli means one thousandth. Then we have one millionth is micro. This is the Greek letter mu for micro. And you could have a micrometers, or micro Teslas for a metric, uh, for a, a, what do you call that, a magnetic field. And then you get into the billionth for nano, like nanometers. Okay, the wavelength of light in the visible spectrum is nanometers, a billionth of a meter. And then you can have pico and you can have trillionth, and that's a picoseconds you see sometimes when you're talking about computers or measuring light or the speed of light or the wavelength of light also. Okay, so I think those are probably the most common ones that you'll see. As I said, there are more above a trillion and below a trillionth, but I think those are the most common ones. Now, another thing I'd just like to point out is when we write a trillion, we don't usually write it like this, and when we write a trillionth, we don't usually write it like this. We use scientific notation, so these are the scientific notations. One times 10 to the one is 10, 10 to the two is 100, 10 to the three is 1,000, this is million, 10 to the nine is a billion, and 10 to the 12th is trillion. And then you can have tenths uh, with the negative exponents down to trillions. So we have minus one, minus two, ten to the minus six is a millionth, ten to the minus nine is a billionth, and ten to the minus twelve is a trillionth. All right. So it's good to keep those in mind, those prefixes, and then those values for um, you have a kind of understanding about how those all kind of fit together. Now, when we talk about the metric system, just some quick examples. Uh, we, well, I mean, the way we write things down, we could say the mass is 200 grams, or you could say the mass is uh, 1.5 kilograms. All right, that's also 
you can also say that uh, the mass is 10,729 kilograms. Okay, so we write these uh, different ways. Now, when we have something really large, we use scientific notation, which we'll talk about in the next video. This is actually the mass of the Earth, 5.972 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. And you could have small things also, or things with a low mass, as 0 0.005 grams, which is the same thing as 5 milligrams. This is 5 one-thousandths. This is 5 milligrams. This is 5 one-thousandths of a gram. This is 5 milligrams. These two are equivalent to each other. And then we can have something really small. If you know what this is, 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. That's the mass of an electron. And then we can go on to some of the lengths. Uh, we have lengths like 125 meters. I just want to give you an idea about how we write these down. Lengths is 3.0 kilometers. We have length is 2,591 meters. And then this is 384,400 kilometers. Anybody know what that is? That is the distance between the Earth and the Moon. And then when we put that in equation, we want to often use that in meters because the base unit of the system is the meter for length. So we can convert kilometers to meters because there's a thousand meters in a kilometer. So we can just say 384 comma 400 or 384,400 times 10 to the third meters. These two values are equivalent. And we can also write it like this. 384.4 million meters. These three values are equivalent to each other. And then we could say all oh, this is million meters. 10 to the 6 is a million. So we can write 384.4 384.4 times 10 to the 6th meters. Okay, so these three values are all equal to each other. Okay, and then we can kind of go smaller. We can have uh, uh, less, than a, less than a meter. Okay, L is for length is 45 centimeters, which when you put that into meters, that or convert that into meters, that's 0 0.45 meters. Again, often when we have equations, we have to convert from centimeters to meters. And then the length, we have nanometers, 650 nanometers. As I mentioned, that's like the wavelength of light. That's the wavelength of red light, uh, visible light uh, in, in the red part of the visible spectrum. And then you could write that down, because this is nano, and nano is 10 to the minus 9, so you can also write 650 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, okay, because there are a billion nanometers in one meter. So you can also write it like this. These two values are equivalent to each other, and there you go. That's a quick introduction to the metric system. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them how much you care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.